This is In Focus. I'm John Lieberman. Thanks for joining us. Look, we all know there's virtually no business or industry that hasn't been impacted by COVID-19. Today, we're talking with a Russian steel mining and manufacturing giant, Severstall, about how they've had to pivot, major, major pivots. So I want to bring in the CIO of that company, Sergei Dunayev. Good to see you, Sergei, all the way joining us from Moscow today. Sergey, how did COVID-19, you know, change the way that you do business? And also, how did technology help you adapt to this new way? Oh, okay, yeah, good question, actually. Uh, well, as for business strategy uh, and business model, yeah, well, we ran our web store, our e-commerce for years, yeah, and this project was launched like six years ago. And um, actually, the share of E-Trade was not dominating but it grows up and the COVID situation was a powerful impulse actually, yeah? Like, like a notch to speed it up, to grow it up again. So I'm, I'm sure that without e-commerce technology and e-commerce solution, we felt much worse now actually. And um, usual things, of course, like uh, electronic document interchange or supplier relationship management or integrated planning, everything became a part of this ability to move ahead and to keep the speed of the usual business model on Silverstyle, right? So it was kind of business continu continuity tool, yeah? But the second, the second part, um, uh, I mean, uh, if, if we would try to analyze what was the impact at the workplaces, yeah, of everybody, of every employee, what's important? I, I would say there was no direct impact on the workplace or work, work, working environment, but the years of work with ERP systems and non-ERP solutions, taught our people to collaborate remotely. And it is, um, you know, it's really important to understand not just their own, your own process, yeah? But to understand what are the process of your colleagues from both sides or even from 360 degrees, right? So if you know the prerequisites, the dependencies and the consequences, and you have this, uh, we call it ERP culture, right? Or ERP atmosphere. And we were, we were changed years ago and it helped us today or yesterday yeah to keep the usual speed and usual dynamics during COVID time so again it was not a huge change but it was a powerful push to to keep the speed of how we are moving ahead using different technologies and different solutions right yeah and that's a remarkable point that you can't just you know you don't do it in a vacuum you have to see how it impacts this 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 and this that that's super interesting um Talk a little bit more, uh, Sergey, about the SAP solutions that you use and, uh, and, and what the status of those uh, is right now. Oh, well, well, we are, I would say, fully covered with SAP solutions. So we run our ERP system, you know, last nine years, uh, we have more than 15 different productive solutions around ERP. We use Business Warehouse, we use Self BI tools. Well, we use a lot of them actually. We, we try to we try to calculate it somehow. Like ninety nine percent, ninety five percent of overall business process are somehow covered with SAP, right? But it's not, you know, it's not SAP because of SAP. Yeah, of course, it was the kind of fundamental things uh, established by ERP, and it was mm -hmm. it, it was growing up with uh, well different different solutions uh, under under specific business needs of Severstal. It was not a technological evolution itself, right? It was a business transformation, which was powerfully supported by technological things. And before I let you go, let me just ask you this, you know, kind of any lessons learned, what you could share with other CIOs, other business leaders about how to make it through such a disruptive event, because we know there's gonna be another disruptive event at some point, um, no matter what it looks like. So what are some of your lessons learned or messages that you could share with the business community? Oh yeah. Well, uh, I think my message is not for CIOs only. Yeah, I, I, I would say it it's probably could be, well, could be used by any business leader. Yeah. So what I noticed that soft skills got even more important place than before, right? So I mean, I mean that controls and disciplines give the way to empathy, to reliance, yeah? And the call of duty, I would say, is now greater for employees than their labor contract clauses, right? So this means that the successful leader of, well, next, no, of next periods, of next, next times, should have the features of so-called caring, caring alpha, yeah, right? Rather than being a chief or a boss. 
That's fascinating. So empathy is a major key. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. That. Wow. Well, Sergey, it's a, it was a great conversation. Really appreciate your time. Stay safe. Good to see you and, uh, and best of luck in the future. Thanks again. Yeah. Thanks for the perfect conversation. Thanks, John.